This is round three of my video series about my Eurorack setup and in the first two videos we took care about some basics as well as the drums and the sub bass. And in this video we will continue with the mid-range melody stuff and in the end it will sound something like this. If you missed the first two videos there is a link in the description and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe or leave a little comment. And yeah, let's go to the synthesizer. So we connected the nano key to the sequencer and then the MIDI connections to the select bus module and also the voltage block to the sequencer to trigger some fills. Then with this multiplier we patch the clock from the sequencer to the voltage block and also to the quad LFO. Then we connected to this thing, pitch and trigger to the VCA and then to the mixer for our sub bass. And then for the drums, kick, snare and hi-hat. And now we're ready to move to the melody and for this I will take the Manus Eteritas. I connect pitch and trigger and a little delay from the mimeophone and also the data bender. Let's add a bit of delay from the mimeophone. Now let's start recording a bit. Now let's bring in some more modulation. So I patched uh, one output of the mod gain quad LFO to the Manus Eteritas. Only to give it a bit extra modulation. Let's add a second modulation source, in this case from the voltage block, to the mode input of the Manus Eteritas.
a bit of reverb to the drums. For this case I used the herb verb to get a bit more depth to the drums. And then with the Dörpfer stereo mixer I can use it like a send and send only kick or snare or hi to the reverb. part I will go into more detail about the song or preset mode and how I use it in one of the next videos but now let's just make a little intro to do this we copy the preset from the sequencer to a new slot and simply mute the drums for example and the sub bass and now we have a kind of, we have kind of an intro and can switch back and forth between intro and verse Great, that's it again with this part of the video. We now have a little melody to go with the drums and the sub bass that we created in the last videos. And I think it's starting to sound like something. In the next part I will create a few more variations, for example with the Piston Honda or the WMD oscillators. And then use the patterns to create a little song with several parts. So if you liked the video, I would be happy if you leave a subscription, a like or a comment here. And in the meantime, check out the other videos on my channel and see you next time.